Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt here. Hope you're doing well. What is FOMO? F-O-M-O. What is FOMO? Someone asked me that. Do you ever have FOMO? And I thought, well, what's that? And they talked about the fear of missing out. And it really triggered a lot of thoughts in my mind because I think as Christians, particularly when I was younger, I, I suffered from this a lot. And even sometimes as, as, I, as I'm getting older here, um, I still struggle with it. It's Sometimes we let the the temptations and the pleasures and kind of the um, enticement of the world feel as Christians we're missing out on something. That there's something over here that if we weren't trying to follow Christ, we weren't um, giving our finances to the to the church to the mission work. We if we weren't basing our relationships on what God teaches in the Bible, then we'd get the we would get the pleasures. Of the world and so to speak we're missing out on all this world has to offer because we're choosing to follow Christ but I want to put a different spin on that and as Christians challenge you and challenge myself what if we have FOMO what if we have this fear of missing out on all that God has to offer what if God has designed like it says in John 10 10 my favorite Bible verse Christ came we may have life have it more abundantly what if we are simply as Christians putting our faith and trust in the finished work of the cross to take us to heaven. Instead, we should be allowing the Holy Spirit to live through us and work through us. And we're actually missing out on so many blessings that God has for us here in this lifetime and the lifetime to come because we're kind of living this life that's in between. We're not really living for the world or we're not really committed and faithful and all out sold to Christ. So you're kind of in the worst of both worlds. You're not getting the pleasure of this lifetime that the world offers, or you're not getting the pleasures and all the great millions of benefits that God himself offers. We're straddling this fence. That's always my biggest fear, that my life will look the same as someone who's a non-believer. And I pray every day for the Holy Spirit to speak and work through me and God to, to show me things that other people can't see, to, for God to work through me in ways that he doesn't, that other people can't experience unless they have that fullness through Christ. So what is FOMO? It's the fear of missing out. But think about and challenge yourself today that you are going to live a life committed to Christ alone, allowing the Holy Spirit to work through you. Read chap Romans chapter 8 today, talking about living through the Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to work through us that we won't miss out on all the crazy numerous amount of blessings this this world cannot give, but Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit can give us. So don't miss out on all the things God has for his, his children and those who call out his name and those who believe in him. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless you.